You know, y'all, when you out at the boneyard cemetery and you're out here to get dirt for some month, you have to ask permission to get this dirt. You can't just get it and take it on. If you ever been out to the boneyard and somebody had, um, you saw pennies on your grave or whatever, or, or just different stuff, not just remem remembrance of someone, it's usually payment for date or some kind of work. That's somebody like me would do. When you're in the graveyard and the children's section is a particularly solemn place to be, I'm out here trying to find my uncle's grave, but I don't think I can find it because he died in the 40s. I put a marker out here for him years and years ago. But I can't find it. But like I said, the children's section is a particularly solemn place to be in the cemetery. Also, you can also do work from these as well. But you have to ask permission. You can't just walk up in here and get somebody's date. Right. You can't do it. You can't do that. That's disrespectful. And if you want uh, your house turned upside down, you go ahead and you start disrespecting the dead. Good luck with that. Be very respectful to these graves because if you don't, you might have a problem with your house. You know what I'm saying? I'm interested in this one. Wow. Because like to see the old ones, you know? But, um,. You have to be respectful, and like I said before in another video, you have to tell them to get out your car when you leave. Because if you don't, you might turn your house upside down. You wonder why things happen and stuff, and, you, and you're not meeting them too, you know? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. And so, you have to act like you know out here. We're working and voodoo. It's not for the weak. So if it's not in your DNA, you probably should steer clear if you're smart.